Hey everybody, I'm gonna show you how to make some beautiful grilled pork ribs in your Ninja Foodie Grill. Y'all wanna stick around for this one. What's up everybody? Welcome to Cooking with CJ. I'm CJ, welcome to my kitchen. So glad you're here. Today we got a nice easy recipe. We are going to be doing some grilled ribs, okay? Not to be confused with like barbecue pork ribs or anything like that. We have a nice simple seasoning on these ribs. We're gonna add a nice little braising liquid to it and then we're just gonna grill them up, okay? We're gonna get them nice and tender and grill them up, get a nice little char on there. But before we get started on all that noise, we are on the road to 100,000 subscribers and I need you to be one of them. So make sure you hit that red subscribe button, that bell next to it, so you get alerts on all what we're doing here and become part of CJ's crew, all right? Let's go. We wanna get to 100K by the end of the year. I think we can do it. I need your help though, all right? Share this, all that good jazz. Let's make it happen, all right? All right, everybody, with all that out of the way, these ribs are something special. These are Iberico ribs, okay? Okay. fancy like think of wagyu beef well these are wagyu pork okay i got these from snake river farms they're very very meaty very fatty just like your boy <laughs> uh, never mind anyway these are these are like the the cream of the crop of ribs okay so what are we gonna do we're gonna throw them in an air fryer <laughs> <laughs> Why not, right? Um, we are gonna put them in the Ninja Foodie Grill and Griddle. You guys can do this in your Ninja Foodie Grill, the XL, whatever. And as always, I'll have a link down below to the website. It'll give you the ingredients and the directions you need to make this dish, okay? So make sure you click on that, cookingwithcj.com, all right? What we've already done on these ribs, we've gotten them out of the package, patted them dry. Now, if these weren't some fancy pants ribs from Snake River Farms, you would actually have to take some time and pull that back membrane off. I've done it in other rib videos. You can check it out. You do not want to have that back membrane on. It, it just gets, comes chewy and it's not good eating, okay? So if your ribs have a back membrane, pull it off, use a butter knife, paper towel, easy as can be, okay? Next thing I did on these ribs is I trimmed off all the little scraggly bits, made it a little even. There's a little back flap on there that you need to take off, stuff that's not gonna cook very well, not break down right, okay? After that, I got some seasoning. We're going with a simple salt, pepper, garlic rub today. Um, if you wanna use a barbecue rub, you can. If you wanna use Lowry's, salt and pepper, whatever you wanna use. I'm using the SPG from Cosmos Q. I'll put a link down below for it if you want to check it out. But I seasoned up both sides of the ribs and we're going to let it sit and sweat for about an hour, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little less. But you want to make sure all that seasoning kind of penetrates that meat. We're going really simple here. So we want that salt, pepper, garlic kind of shine through and really complement the sweetness of these pork ribs. Okay. Hope you're with me so far. Make sure you hit that thumbs up to let me know you're still with me. Next thing we're gonna do is get down to the Ninja Foodie Grill station, get these ribs wrapped up, get them in the Ninja Foodie Grill. We're gonna bake them for an hour and then we'll pull them out and we'll grill them for a little bit, all right? First step of the process is braising the ribs. So you're gonna see us wrap them in tin foil, put a braising liquid in there, put some butter, got a little soy sauce for that umami flavor, wrap them up tight and then get them in the foodie grill, braise them up, okay? Let's come on down to the Ninja Foodie Grill station, otherwise known as, that's right, my kitchen island. Let's get started. All right, team, we're over on our foodie grill station. We're gonna turn on our uh, grill. We're gonna turn it to bake. We're gonna go temp, just take it down to 300. Time, take it to an hour, okay? All right, take it to 60 minutes. Next thing. I got two sheets of tin foil right here. Fold it up. We're gonna take our ribs, turn them meat side down. All right. So as you can see here on the inside, we have our uh, griddle plate in there, and that's where we're gonna set our ribs. We're gonna get four little tablespoons of butter in there before we wrap it up. Now we're gonna fold this over. Make a little envelope out of it. Do what I'm doing here, press the sides, roll them up on itself. Okay. We wanna make sure that we got this very tight. All right, so we got the sides sealed up. We left a little opening at the inside here. Our grill's ready to go. We're gonna add a little soy sauce in there. Oops, and rip the tin foil. Just about a quarter of a cup. We got a half a cup of chicken stock. I'm gonna pour that in. Okay. 
And we're gonna go ahead and seal up the other end. You wanna be careful not to pierce the tin foil. What's gonna happen is the chicken stock and the soy sauce are going to braise the ribs. Got a little leakage over there. It's gonna braise the ribs and make them nice and tender. All right, let's get this. Uh, I'm gonna wrap it up one more time and we'll get it in the foodie grill. Okay, team, we're ready to roll. We're getting the, the ribs on there. Ribs are ready, double wrapped, ready to go. Shutting it down. See you in an hour. Okay, so it's a little sooner than an hour. I know I just said I'll see you in an hour, but anyway, not gonna lie. I punctured the tinfoil. I was using my regular household tinfoil instead of my heavy duty barbecue tinfoil. So get some heavy duty tinfoil. The rib bones kind of poke out a little bit. You want really strong tinfoil, okay? So just a little tip from me to you. I went ahead and salvaged everything, put it in some new tinfoil. Easy as can be. Uh, it was a pain in the neck, actually. But <laughs> once we got it all straightened out, got the right tin foil, put the stock and the and the soy sauce back in it. A little bit more butter. We're good to go. Okay. Now I want the the pork from the ribs to really kind of shine through. But we did add some kind of accompanying flavors, some enhancing flavors, if you will. Just that little bit of soy sauce. It'll add a little umami to it. Just bring out the the pork flavor. Okay. So just a little bit of that soy sauce. It's gonna go a long way, but you're gonna love it. Okay. All right, team, so we got an hour to go. When that hour's up, we're gonna go ahead and pull out the ribs out of that package, open up the tinfoil carefully, right? And then we're gonna fire up the grill. We're gonna do like high setting, get a nice char on them ribs, okay? All right, team, the bell went off. We're ready to pull these out. Okay, it's been an hour, should be nice and tender. We're gonna check the temp, check the fill of the, uh, of the actual ribs with a little uh, temp probe. So come back down to the foodie grill station. Let's. Uh, Get these back on and get them grilling, huh? Okay. We're gonna go ahead and take out this griddle plate. Be careful, it's gonna be hot. Turn the grill setting high. We're gonna go ahead and leave it there. We're not gonna grill these more than like 10 minutes, okay? First thing I wanna do before we unwrap them is just kinda check the temp, check the tenderness. You're shooting for over 200. You want it to kinda go nice and easy into the flesh. You might have to work around the bones a little bit, but it's going in real nice. By the way, if you want to get yourself one of these, cooking with CJ instant read thermometers, links down below. Let's unwrap the ribs and then we'll get ready to get it in the grill. All right, we got it on another tray just in case it leaks some of the, the cooking juice in there. Do this carefully and get your face away from it. You don't want any of that steam coming up out of you. Woo, hot. All right, so it don't look like much right now. Obviously it's been kind of brazing in there. You can see the pull back of the meat on the bones. We're still gonna grill it meat side down, but I'll flip it over and show you. Again, it doesn't look like much, but when we get done grilling it, it'll look perfect. And this is what I'm telling you. See, it's probing in real tender, right? We're getting into the meat. There's no, no force against the, uh, the probe, right? It just slides in kind of like butter. Before we get it in there, I am gonna give it one more little dusting of our salt, pepper, garlic. Just a lot of it kind of got braised off, which is okay. We're just adding a little extra flavor on top. Okay, team, let's get these ribs on. We are preheated, locked and loaded. Let it dribble a little bit. Let's get it on. There we go, hear that sizzle, hear the grilling. Get a little contact on there. You know that sounds good. I'm gonna shut this down. And we're just gonna give it that 10 minutes. Maybe move it or groove it around a little bit. It's only gonna be about 10 more minutes. All right, the ribs are on the grill. Now, why do we do that? Yes, they're done. It's cooked. It's braised. It's tender. You can eat it as is. But now is where we add a little bit of extra flavor by charring the ribs, getting the nice grill marks on there. You're eating with the eyes too, so you wanna see them cool grill marks but it also adds flavor by charring up them bits a little bit, tightening it up, doing real good things, okay? So do not skip this part. Even though you think the ribs are done with the braising after that hour, do not skip the grilling, okay? All right, team, we are done. Got 10 minutes in the grill, crisped up that side. Look, you got all that nice fat in there that's kind of rendered out. Let's go ahead and give it a little flip. Ooh, yeah. Still sizzling. This Iberio pork is very full of fat, very full of flavor. We're gonna get this off the grill, get it cut up, get it eaten. Let's go. 
Let's get these ribs off. Now I use spare ribs here. So that means there's still a bit of the rib tips on the top. We're gonna cut between the ribs. We're gonna have a nice little meaty bites on the top. Usually when I'm cutting my ribs, I cut from the bottom side so you can see through the ribs. I got me a heavy duty Dolph Strong knife. I'll put a link down below for it. All right, and we're just gonna cut through. Yeah. Just be careful, it's still hot. Now you're not gonna see any kind of like smoke ring or anything like that. This is very hot. <laughs> But you can see it's nice and juicy. Ouch. It should be with all that fat in there. Woo. <laughs> I'm burning my fingers for you guys. Kind of cut it at the wrong angle. A little thin, but that's okay. I'm going to cut those up and we'll give them a try. All right, team. The ribs are done. Juicy as can be. Nice color on the outside from putting them on that grill. Mm. Got to get the towel. I mean, it's so simple, but it's so damn tasty. All right. Look, if you can get a hold of these Iberico pork uh, ribs, I would give it a shot for real. Like I said, you can buy them online, Snake River Farms, I think Porter Road, a couple other ones you might want to check out. But these are very good, very tasty. The seasoning is on point, real simple. Not so much as a barbecue rib, but like I said, just a nice grilled rib. Okay, so tender, juicy, got a nice grilled, nice crust on the outside, really good. Listen, if you guys want to get yourself one of these Ninja Foodie Grilling Griddles, the link will be down below. The knives, the cutting boards, aprons, merch, all that stuff, everything I use in my videos are all down below. All right, so check them out. If you want to become a show producer like all these awesome grilled rib loving people, hit that join button right next to the subscribe button, which you should have already hit by now because what? We're on the road to 100,000. Let's get there, all right? But guys, that is it for this week. Thank you so much for being here and taking the time to watch this video. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.